I'm Lorana Phipps, and this is Real Jazz Talk on Location. And tonight, we're in Atlantic City, where we are going to explore all of the wonderful sights and sounds of jazz in Atlantic City. Jazz is alive and well, and jazz is doing its thing. So join us tonight at Kelsey's AC. Hi, we're the Thomas family, and we love Real Jazz Talk on Location. Wow, we're standing in Atlantic City's historical jazz district, Kentucky Avenue. Jazz all up and down the streets, and there was a particular club called Club Harlem in Atlantic City. That's where Billie Holiday, Dizzy Gillespie, Duke Ellington, Sarah Vaughn, and all of the jazz greats performed for many years after Prohibition, you know, it was on in Atlantic City for jazz. And tonight, we're at Kelsey's, right here on Kentucky Avenue. I'm Lorana Phipps, and this is Real Jazz Talk on Location. Thank you. 
Donna Phipps, and this is Real Jazz Talk on Location. And tonight we're in Atlantic City at Kelsey's, and I'm with the amazing band. Tonight we have with us Mark Johnson, the keyboardist. Yeah, absolutely. How are you tonight? I'm doing very, very well, and very good to meet your acquaintance and everything like that. Absolutely, brother. They tell me that you are fiery from the Philly area. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like that sense of humor kind of thing undercurrent that if you really listen, you might get scorched. Oh, is that right? Oh, I like scorched. Oh, that's fire. Ooh. Wow. So tell me a little bit about some of the things that you've done. Uh, I do a lot of performing, a lot of writing, a lot of teaching. If it's music, I'm there. And in terms of music, in terms of variety, I love music, period. So it doesn't matter what it is. I just got finished doing a musical. Now I'm graced and honored to be down here with Kelsey's with such outstanding musicians. And gonna keep it moving this week. Got some other stuff coming up, some Caribbean stuff, some steel drum stuff. Ooh. I'm just music, music, music. That's music, what I do. music, music, That's and jazz I'm is playing. what we do. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. Again, we have Mark Johnson in Atlantic City at Kelsey's on Real Jazz Talk. <laughs> Thank you. 
Play that blues, baby. Uh huh. Marriage in my belly, but ain't no man been round. I'm not sure how it happened, but can't no man be found. Can you break the news of Papa? Cause right now I'm feeling down. Well, there's a bun in the oven, but ain't no man been around. Oh, do it slowly rising, but can't no man be found. I guess I need to call the baker, cause apparently he done left the town. I, I, I got marriage in my belly, but ain't. I got marriage in my belly, but no. I got marriage in my belly, but no. So do we do we do do we do do we do 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 Hey, listen to me. You're teasing, you're talking, you know what I want, whatever we do is fine. You may be sorry, I don't want you to stop, don't you hurt me take your time. I got the magic, you got the heavy, you're making me lose my mind. I know it's a sin, but yes, count me in tonight, baby, you gonna be mine. I got marriage, marriage, I got marriage, marriage, oh, marriage in my belly. But there ain't, but there ain't, but there ain't, there ain't no man been round. <laughs> no man been round. But Tony, we know you're gonna be around, baby. Ooh. <laughs> ain't no man been round. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Tony TNT Jones with us tonight. I have an opportunity to work with one of the most incredible American music directors. You've been with Sister Sledge, you've been with Nina Simone, you've been with so many, and I'm gonna let you tell us, ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, Mr. Tony TNT Jones. Hey, baby. Hey, Lorana, how you doing, sweetie? I'm good so wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, thank you, and it's good to be here. It's good yeah. to be alive. Yeah. And it's beautiful out here in Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. Down at Kelsey's. Kelsey's, And we're having yes. a wonderful time. We really are. And I'm looking forward to playing with you tonight. Oh, I'm looking forward to yeah. it. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I work with a lot of people, but mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to working with you, too. Well, I appreciate that. It's always that. a great experience. Yes. And yes. a great experience working with this this brother. I'm telling you, he makes you work. He makes you go home and do your homework. But the show is always incredible. So tell us. So I know you did Grover and so many others. Tell us mm. some of the people that you've worked with. Well, some of the people that I work with that people don't know is like Red Rodney, who played uh, trumpet with um, Charlie Bird Parker. Mm -hmm. Worked with Sonny Stitt. Mm -hmm. and, and I learned so much from all these different people, you mm -hmm. know, like Ray Parker Jr. And just loads of little Norman Connors, the great Gene Carn. And you know, Nina Simone, you know, mm -hmm. this, this, this is just a wonderful thing that God has blessed me mm -hmm. to play with so many great types of artists and different genres of music, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, like uh, Larry Coryell and mm -hmm. John Schofield mm -hmm. and Paquito de Rivera. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's the Lord list goes on and on, and I've been playing over 40 years, so. Mm -hmm. 40. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've had the opportunity to really work with a lot, a lot of great, great, great people. And they've all taught me. I've learned something from every, each and every one of them, and I try to bring that to the stage every night. Every night. And ladies, I'm just going to call your attention to the fact that he said 40 years. It's a good-looking brother. <laughs> 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 so Thank now, you. we, we uh, on Real Jazz Talk on location, we, also, we always like to do something called um, Pandora's Box. And that's when we ask a musician a very pertinent personal and controversial oh, oh. question. <laughs> so tonight's question, drum roll please, is, so Tony, yes. how does a musician as extraordinary, as world traveled, as sought after, as you, take gigs sometime that require less 
pay than what you're used to getting. How do you handle things like that? And what would you say to a musician that knows he's worth so much well, and has to get less than what he's worth? What I would say to all musicians that have to go through that, and I, I go through that as well, mm -hmm. playing for less sometimes, sometimes playing for free, mm -hmm. is that uh, remember where you come from and where, where it came from, mm -hmm. which is the creator, God. Mm -hmm. So God gave us all these gifts, and we should share them. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't stay home and wait for the phone to ring and lots of money. Mm -hmm. If a, a musician called me that's a very good friend of mine that I kind of grew up with, and uh, he wants me to know, he asked me, to, are you playing in the night? I said, no, I'm not playing, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not playing. And if, if, if he's a wonderful musician that are gonna be on the, sa the set, then I'll be more than glad to go, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, it's always a good, ex good experience and a good time to play music, no matter if it's for money or if it's not. So, you know, but it, it is a shame that uh, most of the clubs now in Philadelphia really don't, they underpay musicians because musicians will work for almost free. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about mostly the college musicians. They come out yeah. of school and they just want to work. They'll pay for fifty dollars, twenty-five dollars, whatever, mm -hmm. for the door. You know, mm -hmm. anything you give them. So, uh, so the really good musicians that have already been experienced and been out here for a while, they suffer because they don't get the gigs because the college musicians are playing for so f so cheap. Mm -hmm. And all the clubs are actually going way down on their money what mm -hmm. they pay musicians. And even the college musicians are great musicians, some mm -hmm. of them. You know, mm -hmm. so it's it's just uh, not right for. Uh, the different club owners to uh, actually take advantage of musicians and they know that music is uh, a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they have music in their establishments. Mm -hmm. So I just say, uh, I just hope they wake up one day and, and stop doing that, start treating musicians right. Well, I appreciate that answer and I'm just going to just clarify. Or what do you say um, to musicians that are working for the door? Do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Or what is your opinion on that? Well, I think it, it really depends on their situation. Mm -hmm. If they are inexperienced and they're just straight, uh, straight out of college or even still in college and they just want to play what they've been rehearsing mm -hmm. in, you know, in their school, then it's okay. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But don't do it on a regular basis where you take work from musicians that actually need that work to, to pay their bills and take care of the families. I understand and I agree. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we are with the incredible, the infamous Tony TNT Jones. I'm gonna ask him to just take it out on this note. We are live at Kelsey's Atlantic City. My name is Lorana Phipps and this is Real Jazz Talk. Take it away, baby. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> My name is Lauren Stroud, and I love Real Jazz Talks on location. So, ladies and gentlemen, and all the others, this is Tony Day, the extraordinary drummer. Hey, Tony. Good evening, Lon. How are you? Oh, baby, I'm, well. I'm How doing are you? great. Doing great. So, what have you been doing lately? Well, I've been trying to keep playing. Number mm -hmm. one, I'm a music lover as mm -hmm. well as a music player, mm -hmm. and I just play when work whenever I can. Mm -hmm. So, it. what's your latest project? My latest project is this project here at Kelsey's. Right. Uh, the house band every Sunday. We've been here for going on four years now. Is that right? And we're trying to keep it happening. You are Atlantic happening. City. Yes. So Tony Day, y'all, in Atlantic City. Mark Johnson, loving it. I'm Lorana Phipps, and this is Real Jazz Talk on location. Hi, I'm Lorana Phipps. And this is Real Jazz Talk on location. And we're here at Kelsey's, and I am with the lovely bartender, the mixologist, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? I'm good. 
Uh, so you're going to make me a drink tonight? Yes, it's called the Kelsey's Blue Water. Kelsey's Blue Water? Yeah. What's that going to do to me? No, it's a nice mellow drink. Okay, all right. So tell us a little bit about the drink and how did we come up with the title? Uh, they come up with a special drink every week. And they just, well, I, don't, I mean, Kelsey speaks for itself. So is it good? Yes, it is. All right, well, we're going to let you do your thing. Right. Take it away, Jeff, on Real Jazz Talk on location in Atlantic City. Oh my God, that's delicious. And we call that, what is the name of this drink again? Kelsey's Blue Water, Kelsey's Blue Water in Atlantic City. I'm Lorana Phipps, and this is Real Jazz Talk on location.